Hello everyone, my name is David Cawley. I'm a member of the Digital and Asset Integration team here at Pentagon Solutions. And in this short video, we're going to review how we can make CAD data more intelligent by extracting blocks and attributes information uh, for use in Google Maps. Um, to do this, we're either going to have to be in the AutoCAD map or Civil 3D uh, interface. You can see here on the screen what I have is uh, some Ordnance Survey mapping data from OSNI, um, our Latin Property Services. And this is around Belfast, around our offices. I also have some block and attribute data uh, for streetlights in here, which have some rich information behind them in the sense of attributes. Now, there are various ways you can assemble this data together, um, but we just simply have this, and they're geo-referenced as well. So what that actually means if I go into my geo map functions, you can actually see it is actually tied into the Irish grid. So I can change it from my map view and um, I can make that hybrid where it will just go into a satellite view and um, a road view as well. Or I can just simply turn it off. So that's using the Irish grid coordinates and um, we're going to export this to um, latitude and longitude for uh, importing into Google Maps. So first thing I'm going to do is select one of my blocks and just do select similar. So I have probably about 63 blocks in this particular CAD file. I'm then going to use the map export function. So this is a function that's going to be available in AutoCAD map, but will also be available in uh, Civil 3D. And I'm going to make sure that we're exporting out to Google KML um, files. So I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to say SLA Belfast Pentagon and hit OK. So to select the information in here, um, if we go to select manually, because they're already selected on the actual drawing file, it'll see 63 objects selected in here. And that's important. Just make sure that the objects are actually selected. Loads of different ways you can actually select these objects in here. From a data perspective, let's have a look at selecting the attributes. And in the select attributes, um, in the drawing itself, it'll filter out all the different blocks that you have in here. So I have only two blocks, a title sheet, which I'm not interested in, and the SLA asset. And I can tick that box, and that'll tick all the attributes that I want to capture and bring into Google Maps. And then hit OK. You can create unique identifiers in there, but we're just going to keep this very simple, and I'm going to go to Options. So because we're an Irish grid, we need to make sure that we're converting this out so we can import into Google. Now, it's already got the correct coordinate system, but just to show how you can search for that in here, you can actually click within here, and I'm going to say 4326. That's the latitude and longitude. That's WGS84. That's the code that we want to use. Um, we're simply going to select it and um, select and close. Um, we're not using polygons here, we're single points, so we're ready to go. So we just simply hit OK and I'll extract that information. So what you'll see in your desktop is you'll see that information that will actually get um, extracted. So let, let's just have a quick look at that in, in Notepad. So I'm just going to go open with Notepad. And you can see all the information behind it. It actually captures that. Um, the data's all get captured, the positions get captured off it as well, so we can see the coordinates have been transferred to latitude and longitude. So now we're ready to go into our Google Maps. So I'm going to go into My Maps, create a new map, and we want to import the um, information in here, so we can drag and drop. If we had a CSV, we, want, we can drag and drop that information in here. So I'm going to go into my Windows Explorer, pick up that file, and drag and drop. That will upload it, and because it picks up the latitude and longitude um, positioning, you can see that information on the screen. Now, it's given a prefix in here of uh, various namings for the assets. We're, we're probably going to change that under the, um, the styles in here. We can rename as well um, the information. Well, I'm going to say, well, let's have that based on the type of lamp that is installed, and let's put on the label for the type of lamp as well. So that information will appear on the screen. Um, but if we drill down a little bit further, so if I select one of these street lights, you'll see all the rich information from the block has come across. And we've added in some hyperlinks in here, so this will actually take us to information about it. So if I wanted to have a look at any documentation related to it, 
it'll take me to information, say, to work in a height in here. So we've got information on links that we can apply into other systems that gives it a better level of intelligence. It's the same for any site photo information that we've got assigned to this. Um, it'll take us directly to it. This time it's going into uh, Fusion. Um, or it could just take you to Google Drive or, or another location in there or into a document management system. So I've got some information that's taken me into my Google Docs. And of course, this information will not only be available on your desktop, this will be available on iPad mobile devices, which we're going to have a look at now. So I'm now in my Google Maps and I can have a look and filter through my maps and select the map that we just published. And you can see all the information's on there. And because it's using Google Maps, it'll pick up your location, it'll pick up uh, directions as well. But if we click on any of the information, the asset data will actually come up behind it as well. So it's a very powerful way to access this information that we've published um, from AutoCAD uh, on mobile devices. So in this video, you've seen how we can extract data from AutoCAD Map or Civil 3D and add it into Google Maps with intelligent information extracted from the attributes. I'd like to say thanks for watching. Uh, please do click subscribe and be kept up to date for future videos. And please do follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and Twitter. Thanks again.